All right, for you guys that are lucky enough to have a indoor gun range, great. I uh, wish I did, especially down here in uh, South Texas where it's 100 degrees outside. Uh, where I live, basically I drive 40 miles to uh, Quero to Taps Gun Range, which is a basically a six bay range, uh, five pistol ranges and one rifle range. A uh, rifle range goes out to a hundred yards. Uh, I like to bring my Ruger 5.56 out here and my uh, Ruger 10.22 uh, takedown. <coughs> I also uh, come out with my Ruger TP9 and uh, ATM, AMT uh, Lightning Target 22. Uh, I know that's not a great target pistol, but it's extremely accurate, and I got it for a good deal, and the red tide on it's worth more than the pistol, uh, but it's really nice to shoot. Uh, I just wish I could find a couple more clips for it, because uh, it gets tiring reloading one clip over and over. Uh, I came out today, if you watched my previous video, with my new Canik TP9 Elite SC, which I really enjoy. The trigger is awesome, just like every video said. Uh, no, I didn't do an unboxing because you could find 5,000 unboxings of the Canik TP9 or the Canics on uh, YouTube. Uh, I didn't even video me shooting. I mainly showed the range. TP9. Uh, there's a couple things I was talking about that I was just hot and I didn't go through in a lot of detail. Uh, the holster with the two clips that I got off Amazon, I think they were 20 something dollars. Uh, my Ruger PT9 fits in it, the Canic fits in it, great. It's a lot more comfortable than the holster that comes with the Canic. Uh, especially for inside the waistband and you can switch it from inside to outside you can also switch it from left to right you know. uh, with the cloth covering and uh, the strap on it it's a lot more comfortable inside the waistband even for you know like full size TP9 uh, I mainly come out here and through 3,000 I mean sorry 300 rounds down range with a TP9, I only had one failure to fire, uh, and that was the ammunition. Because uh, I picked that round up and put it in my TP9, and it wouldn't fire out of the TP9 either. So it was uh, a bad round. Uh, of course, it was Winchester training ammo, so you know, you get what you pay for. <laughs> uh, I, well, so let's change that to 299 rounds downrange. Uh, I started off at uh, 7 yards just to get used to the shorter barrel. Uh, moved to the 14 yards. Uh, then moved out to uh, about 25 yards. Uh, I'm not any kind of uh, marksman, expert shooting. Now, with the M16 back in the Army, I saw the expert, but, you know, that was three decades ago, a little three decades ago. Uh, then I didn't have a buy a gun for quite a few years, and I just recently got back into it, bought my uh, 1022 and AR, which I really enjoy it. I got a little Romeo. Five on uh, my five five six and some cheap red dot on my uh, ten twenty two. I am getting ready to change that. Uh, I just got a scope from Academy that I'm gonna put on my AR. Probably gonna put the Romeo on the ten twenty two and. 
I just purchased uh, 22 Ruger 22 charger off of uh, gun brokers that should be here sometime next week uh, I know it's just a plinker but I've seen them and went on for a long time so I purchased that uh, really last week uh, this where I got my Ruger 556 uh, the Ruger 556 came in a couple of days this guy I'm a little disappointed in uh, I purchased it on the 28th the day's the uh, 3rd and he still hasn't shipped yet uh, the day I wanted to bid I purchased it sent in my FFL uh, information which is uh, Hoover's out of Victoria uh, Hoover's outpost if you're in the area and you need to ship a gun, he's a great guy. He only charges $25 to do it. And he carries quite a few weapons. Uh, he only has a good price on them. But he just tends not to have exactly what I want. I mean, if you want a Glock or a Smith & Wesson or Hellcat or something like that, because he just got this small place so he don't carry a lot of inventory but what he does have is uh, he don't have any very little overhead so you don't have to mark them up like other places uh, I have come across deals he has were cheaper than the Academy so uh, you can look at it that way uh, that's about all I have to say uh, but like I did say, I took the screws out of the uh, mount for the red dot for obstacles. Uh, I can't get the plate out. I've tried, you know, putting down the wrench to the other side, pushing it through. It won't come out. If anybody has any ideas, please let me know. All right, guys, have a great day.